Today we're gonna answer a question we get a lot from new shooters. What's the deal with cinema lenses? Are they any good? Why do they cost so much? Will they make my film look like it was shot by Roger Deakins? We'll cover all that and more in today's video on cine lenses. Let's start with the basics of what defines a cinema lens. The most obvious thing about cinema lenses is that they are geared. The teeth surrounding the focus, iris, and or zoom rings allow for focus via follow focus or motorized control unit. Having these teeth built into the lens makes setup much easier, and there's no need to fuss with third-party focusing rings. Looking a bit deeper into the rings on a cinema lens, you'll find a smooth operating manual focus that has a much longer throw than a still lens. In fact, most cinema lenses offer well over 200 degrees of focus range. This gives you a lot of control and precision for smooth rack focus adjustments. This plus hard focus stops means you'll always know when you've reached the end of your focusing range. Visually, notice that the focusing barrels are marked with the distance measurements. This tells you precisely where the lens is focused in relation to the sensor or film plane. Since operating a camera in the filmmaking world is a team effort, these markings are designed to be read from either the left or right hand side of the camera. This is in stark contrast to a still lens with their ambiguous top mounted focusing scale. Moving rearward, there are some special features on the aperture as well. Often called an iris, these differ from still lenses because their adjustment is smooth. There are no click stops, so adjustments can be made gradually. Another feature is that cine lenses are measured in T-stops, not F-stops. Conceptually, they refer to the same thing, but T-stops differ from F-stops because they deal with a measured quantity of light. On a still lens, this means that an F2.8 may not give you the same exposure from one lens to the next. With T-stops, you know your exposure will be the same from lens to lens. Speaking of lens matching, that's another thing about cine lenses. They are released in sets that cover a range of focal lengths. Because they are in a set, they are also designed to have a similar look and color properties to one another, which makes cutting between shots easier. Another strength is that the lenses are designed to all be the same size and shape. This makes switching out one lens for another much faster and easier on set, because you won't have to adjust your camera, follow focus, or matte box once you have it set up. Even if the physical shape isn't a perfect match, the focus, iris, and zoom controls will all be located in the same place. Finally. Cine lenses are designed with a focus on optical image quality. There are a lot of characteristics people use to judge a cinema lens. Not all of them we can cover here, but the thing to know is that on most entry-level cinema lenses, you get a lens that's derived from a still lens design that's been rehoused in a cine barrel. Now, before you get all worked up, remember that if a still lens can make a high quality image at 20 plus megapixels, there's no reason it can't handle HD video, which is only a two megapixel image. Heck, even 4K is an equivalent 8 megapixels should be a walk in the park. As you get into more exotic cine lenses, there are differences in image quality, but we'll have to dive more deeply into those comparisons in another video. So back to the big question. Now that we know what makes a cine lens a cine lens, are they the right tool for your next job? The answer is, it depends. If you're on a tiny budget or not planning to use a lens on a proper rig, the answer is easy, absolutely not. You'll be far better off investing in something like better lighting or sound equipment than tying all of your money up in glass. Now, if you've got a bigger production that's on a tight schedule and has some more room in the budget, a set of cine lenses might be right for you. Why? Think back to the way a cine lens is designed. Nearly all of the things that make them different have to do with making life on set faster or easier. Lens changes are quicker and require less adjustments. You can achieve accurate and repeatable focus. You can add accessories like wireless follow focuses. Plus your lens will have a similar look, making post-production easier. Oh, and there's also something to be said for the impression your gear gives to clients on set. If you need to impress, a cine lens can certainly help, as long as you can back it up with your final project. Overall though, the key is if a cine lens features can save you time and money during a production, it's undoubtedly the way to go. Hopefully this video leaves you with a better understanding of a cine lens and how they help make a filmmaker's life easier. That's all for now, and as always, thanks for watching. Hey, if you have any other questions, let us know in the comments below. If you want to see our last video, you can click on that right up here. If you want to check out our channel for more of our videos, you can click on that right here. And don't forget to subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos to come.